Hello, good morning. So let's go back to work. Let's go back to problems. So Ellie group here. So uh, just going to make uh, this quick report about every case because I keep sending out the emails, but sometimes it's better to make a video as well so everybody understands um, the general aspect of the problems. Okay, so let's talk first about the case L615 which is the case of Molinos Rice Group Grupo Agropar. It's a rice mill in Brazil. Um, we've been doing business for like 10 years now. And uh, the situation is that uh, now this case is in the Marshall Islands. So we have been extinguished the negotiations there uh, with them. And uh, that's the case now. Uh, they owe about $200,000 on bills and I keep sending out the reports and the whole thing and that's L615. The main defendants are John Marcos Vencaro, Carlitos Ongorato Vencaro, which is his son, and Maria Virginia Souza Lima, which is uh, an assistant that we, we, ha we hired on that period, but instead of being doing the honest business we, we, we've been doing. I Even the person who suggested uh, John Vancato to hire this person, crime and evil overpowered us and they took the decision to do money laundering fraud, you know, voice redirection fraud, sabotage, uh, falsification. They even falsified my brain. So that's case L650. Second case, L78918. That case is in San Martin, some of the, in the Caribbean. Uh, it's related to the criminal activities conducted by John Rafter out of uh, his premises in Tala, Ireland. And that refers to the rice that was shipped to San Martin in the Caribbean, Phillipsburg. Okay, so we're just adding interest rates now. It's the same invoice, the same case, but the thing is that they put our payments to the last priority. You say, okay, the least, you know, the least priority, you say, okay, you, you, Let's charge interest rates. Okay, then just since uh, it's a loan, <laughs> so let's put it on a civil level. Okay, and uh, all my invoices they are civil because we are still every month we give a chance to the defendants to redeem for their crimes and try to settle it down at a civil level. Okay, so if Mr. Stanley Lint there in Phillipsburg decides to pay his his cover up he's finished okay it was just a mistake i forgot to pay that on time i was not trying to embezzle or defraud augustine and his businesses i was just trying to whatever it was good faith here's the payment thank you very much we, that was good business then they're saying that's the, the big picture why we keep sending this generous offer to all the defendants every month so the other case is L800, L810-18, that's Grupo Minar of Alexandre Almeida. We have extensively spoken about this case. Um, we just reshared um, the offer to the police in Tala in Ireland because they have difficulties understanding how come a guy in Brazil is stealing somebody in Ireland. So that's the why then we go back to the cyber crime and all the uh, the letters and con contacts that we do with the American Congress and the European Union Parliament in order to allocate the funds to for us common people to have some sort of safety in the cyberspace because that's online I mean we, we exist online that's how people in Brazil still people in Ireland and in Argentina and in America because it's online so one of the things I, I like to discuss and I've been talking about this in emails is that for Brazilian citizens to have access to WhatsApp and be able to talk to American phone numbers through WhatsApp they may need an online visa so oh I'm American I want to talk to somebody in Brazil you can't because this Brazilian guy does not have a WhatsApp visa because Alexandre Almeida is a classic example. He works and operates. His, his was in America. And I do not even know if he has ever been there. But he threw us up. He's basically working in the United States, boycotting laws, not paying taxes. And, and so it is a lot of problems. So 
this case of the group of Minar, Alexandre Almeida, is very important for this scenario. So all the documents are also shared online. Uh, we created a link on Google Drive, so all the authorities and all the can, and the police and the senators, politicians, everybody ha can have access to the links easily. So they can go there and find the documentation about this case and other cases as well. Next case, L905. 19 that's the cheese from texas that one uh i today i just spoke with the better business bureau in texas they are aware it's just beyond their capacity again we go back to the need of allocation of funds not only to the police but also to better business bureau a small courthouse so they can handle this massive amount of cyber crime today and jamie williams in in, in plano texas is one example Elaine Gerber is another case there, also in Houston, Texas, she's also another case, she committed fraud, she made false testimony uh, to the Better Business Bureau, so that's, uh, that's L905-19 Texas cheese, made in Wisconsin. Another case, well, Thailand, L906-19, and which is Mass Choice, uh, it, it's Yuchana and L907, which is Shiva Rice. Uh, we are not having proper communication with the Thai authorities. We keep informing them. Uh, the, our number one contact is the embassy of Thailand in, in London. I believe I may share this with the embassy in, in Washington as well to see how, how we're going. We have attorneys working in Bangkok, but again, it's 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 it's, it's it's a stock because as the main principle is crime, usually the attorneys, they are more interested in working as a defense attorney, as it happened to Geneva de Guerra from the Kravitz Guerra offices in Miami. Like, at the end of the day, they do a better service assisting the defendants. But for the, that's called this the game, okay? The real game, we all, this is preparation. Once we have our hearings, but we need the government to prosecute them. So that's why there is need of allocation of funds because the police, uh, the secretary, I don't know the name, the, the, the government name is exactly, okay, I'm sorry about that, but they need to go and properly execute the perpetrators. It does not bust the companies, get access to the files, study the whole thing. It's going to take a couple of months to study the, the entire case. How? Uh, John Marcus and Carlo talking about the case L615. How come he embezzled the L Group USA and sent money to the Marshall Islands? I mean, it's nothing that simple. So they need to study. There's going to be a lot of missing documents and gaps, you know, mysterious things that they're not clarifying what happened. So, but once he's prosecuted, then Janil de Guerra and Luisa Falcatrucci, which is the, the lady who's assisting her now and from the Guerra, can't properly assist defending John Vencaro because every every defendant they have their rights so it's not that they just go to jail straight away they'll have a period of time where they can redeem for their crimes they can say they have things that can easy their 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 penalties where they say oh I did not know that I think I thought I was doing right whatever you know like and, and then it, but but they do have their rights and that's what a defense attorney does so saying okay instead of John instead of get taking 30 years incarceration time you're going to take three years because it's the first time you commit this crime for example that's a defense attorney's job okay and that's mostly what all attorneys will be doing because this is Unfortunately, being a victim of crime, and crime is, is, is state. There's no, it does not work as a private um, institution. Uh, so learn new, like L99420 and L1021. The first invoice is to Salerno, Italy, Fidelari, and the second is to Gruppo Sassano, it's an Italian uh, milk manufacturer. This I have uh, remained on, on labor law only, okay? They made me work for one hour or two. I send them their bill. It's just 100 euro, which is one hour worth of my work. And I'm just putting rules there, anti-slavery rules, okay? Understand that the big principle of the crimes I've been victim of is the 13th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States that forbids slavery, okay? All this work here is because these landlords, because all these my clients are mostly landlords, the owners of rice mills, 
dairy farms and all of them are trying to slave me that's the case and they're doing this online and then we go now to the star uh, like the cherry of the cake you know like my, my favorite lawsuit which is the one I, I know it's my favorite the one against Mark Zuckerberg and Eduardo Severino which is L1221 and um, it's a case it's, it's I can't believe it, it, it but it does exist it is serious and it's against modern slavery so you should know the communications and then also we lost an attorney that I thought was going to work for me but he took the decision to work as a defense attorney in the cases for Rizzo TV is a competitor of TikTok that they invite me in all the negotiations for the contract they took the decision to continue to defraud the 13th amendment of the United States and for that reason this attorney uh, Ryan his name he took the decision to work as a defense attorney and again we're waiting for the government of the United States to really fix this problem which is the modern slavery which is also in the UK it's called the modern act it was by Theresa May in 2015 and uh, slavery was forbidden in 1833 so it's almost 200 years it's not allowed so the fact that landlords are tricking the system through digital and cyberspace uh, confusions is not help another one is AL 1121 that's Moneymatic they're in London same case as uh, Grupo Susano and Fidelaris like as, as Mark Zuckerberg and everybody's just stealing defrauding people online and nothing's happening everybody wants to follow them so this is a guy he wants me to sell to them financial services for free <laughs> again <laughs> He wanted the service for free, and then after a one hour consultation, I said, Look at him, I think you know, no, you're going to have your bill. And his actually it was 15 minutes. And, and then what I sent to him is that I cannot charge less than one hour, so I sent to him the bill. And I still say, You still have 45 minutes left that he can use. Um, it's been disputed there in London, that's Ali Group Operations UK. Um, what else? The L. Oh, L 1421 that was of a loan that I made to a cousin in Argentina uh, Argentina is uh, is like Venezuela and Cuba so the formal economy it works with local currency but the real economy works in US dollars so in Argentina when you're doing businesses you do in US dollars but as the government of the United States does not regulate these transactions in US dollars in Argentina, you end up in a gap, in a vacuum of law, which is this American dollars being used on a daily business in, in, in Argentina, which is South America, but not regulated by the Central Bank of the United States. And then on this gap, I'm like, I just sent a bill to my cousin here because he was serviced with $100,000 cash from myself. Uh, was a property that I sold here was an agreement he made with my siblings but uh, he forgot to pay my siblings interest rates so I'm just putting uh, the figures there uh, assuming uh, the interest rates that are charged in the black market in Argentina because as the American Central Bank does not regulate the payments in cash dollars in Argentina and it works in sort of a bastard that's why it's called black market it's like it's a bastard system because the USA does not recognize it so it's, it's so but anyways I just put the 10% is there it's been disputed in the location of Cordoba Argentina uh, three cousins uh, there that they have been serviced with all this currency and uh, what else uh, well, the 1,013 is just a purchase order, which is uh, relates to L615. Uh, the defense attorney said that all the crimes committed by the Vincados, they're, they're irrelevant, they, they have no importance. And I said, look, they do. Well, that's called bad business. I'm, I'm, I am doing business with a criminal, somebody who took the decision to falsify my brains. I can't just say, okay, that does not exist. This guy has sacrificed over um, four or five million dollars worth of, of shipments from Brazil to my customers in Libya of the American Alpha La and the Royal Grain Brains, the Florida Rice Brain and uh, and uh, another one, the best, well, best rice is in Thailand, but so uh, as, he, as I was trying still to solve it on a civil level, just considering four containers of rice that we could just continue to ship and to work he overpowered and struck by the defense attorney he does not need to pay I was asking for $60,000 as a settling agreement so I said okay so he's not shipping again 
Okay, I have customers waiting for my product, the original products produced by this by this rice meal there in Brazil and the like. So he overpowered me once again and took the decision not to ship. And I'm like, okay, so let's talk business here. So uh, there's an opportunity cost here. I am working with the estimation, so I put John Vecado in the same package as the other defendants. So, so I'm considering the shipments every every month. And so I'm just considering that this shipment was processed and please just pay my profit. Whatever you're doing with my product, falsifications, whatever, that's your, your, your life, but please do pay my bill. I was not working for free and I, I do not support slavery. I pay all my all my fees, I pay everybody. I pay I tell this I you can if you can ask anybody who has worked for me. I prefer their their uh suppliers they make more money than I do and I'm happy about that. I don't care. So why why I sh should accept somebody doing the opposite, making me work for free? Because that's the, the train today, unfortunately until these cases of I believe the cases against the five big tech companies once that those cases are not closed I believe the market is going to be like this so I think there's no other way but to wrap it up the cases against uh, the, the, the big techs I think that that would be the big picture because everybody's following the reference so if, if Mark Zuckerberg does not pay if Jeff Bezos does not pay if Bill Gates does not pay if George Soros does not pay if nobody pays why the Vencados have to pay if nobody's paying for the service. But my voices are there. I'm the first on the line, and that's about the case L1000. L1000. L1002. 21. That's the case, which is my my bill, which I sent to 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 because of my work to Facebook, especially. Okay, uh, that's also shared on the files there. But okay. Um, Stay in touch if anybody has any doubts, just write the comments, um, send private messages, usually lawsuits, everybody's afraid. Don't be afraid, uh, it's the market, so you, you just just send the messages and let us know, okay? Alright, thank you for being here, alright? Ciao, ciao.